Hello YouTube, so today uh, I haven't sent, done the video in a long time. So I got this mobility scooter battery that you can read anything about. It's a 12 volt, 18 amp hour battery. And this battery was dead and I just tried reviving it. But that didn't really work, so it's really dead. The self discharge on it is crazy. And I'm going to be disposing of it. But first of all, I need to completely discharge is um battery so here i got a wire and yes i'm gonna be making sparks and stuff <laughs> oh the wire broke that is creating quite a bit of smoke as well and the floor is sizzling. I just have to hold it. Holy crap. Hope everyone has their windows closed. Because this smell was quite terrible. But yeah. Oh no, my alligator clips. Really, oh, they melted. Okay. Oh, the rest of this isolation. I think it's dead. Oh no, the wire melted. Oh no, I haven't been... Yeah, the battery's venting. It was arcing. Yeah, the battery's actually going red hot. Not the battery, I mean the cable. Oh no. Yeah, so... Put these on the ground to cool them off. Battery is extremely hot. Now it's hot. I think it's safe to touch now. Yep. This thing is just like incredibly. Okay, so first of all, I have to mount it on this side. And get the other one and mount it on that side. Battery caps are falling off. Oh, the wire keeps breaking. Some cheap wire. Yeah. I think the battery is just like it's really hot, and it the caps are just like popping up. This battery is uh, I got it for free from a mobility scooter shop. Um, the self discharge on it was just like incredible. It's just like. The whole battery discharged in like 20. What's if I put it in the acid? And uh, nothing. Oh god, no, that's acidic. For fuck's sake. Mm. Maybe I just have to. You can see the fibers if. No, you can't really see them. But if you would, could see them, then that would be pretty sick. Oh god, the, the terminals are really hot. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I killed it. Not, re not really yet, though. Oh wait, I just need to let it let it sit because these lead acid batteries they have a lot of cranking amps and then they just die. So let me just try redoing it. Oh, there we go. Let's go red hot again. Oh, oh, the case is on fire. If you can see on the camera, the the battery is smoking a tiny bit. 
And yes, there we go. The battery is vented and everything. I need a different cable and I'm gonna let this thing sit here. Yeah. Okay, I'm outside with the battery now. Um, let me just look at the damage. So here's, a, here's an alligator clip that I just melted together. Let me, I have a voltmeter, so I'm gonna check the bar, car, I mean, voltage of the battery. Probably it's gonna be really low or something, but I don't know if you can. 11.52 somehow. I don't know if you can see that. This battery, either putting it under water, letting it absorb like five liters of liquid, probably did it help. Oh, I don't know. Yep. Uh, yes, I don't. I think you saw that. Eleven point fifty-four. Let's uh, continue shorting. Okay. Now oh, is my camera. Yeah, that's probably stable. Um. Yeah. Cable is way longer now. Yeah. Sorry for the bad lighting. It's. Oh yeah. Oh god. This thing will smoke like shit. Stop. I am causing a lot of smoke. I definitely need to I definitely need to discharge this battery before taking it to the recycling centre because I don't want it to just cause a fire when like, it gets into, put into a, like, a pile of batteries and Yeah, this causes quite a bit of smoke. Oh god. Oh. Yeah, the whole alley, back alleyway where I live is just like... Oh, yep, I can see one of the cells. The acid's bubbling over. Let me just get closer. I thought you'd be able to see it, but I could definitely see acid bubbling over. Oh yeah, 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 you could see, you could see probably. No, you can't. Let's measure the voltage. It's, it's quite cold outside, but well, I'm still doing this because I'm bored, even though there's homework to do. Uh, here's the meter. I'm pretty sure you can see that. Voltage is 9.63. Not bad, but could be better. Get my scissors and get ready. One of the cells is just like spewing acid. Oh, it's bubbling. I don't know if you can see that. Stop. Did I kill it? Nope, I didn't. One of those cells is just bobbling over, hopefully you can see it. 
the battery is extremely hot and I just I think but I put my hand on the acid hopefully yeah, hopefully I won't die yeah it's not sticking in my hands it's probably just the, the tap water I put in there because I don't want to waste my distilled water That little cell was just bubbling. I think I might have overfilled that cell by like 10 litres. Oh no, I don't want to damage the scissors. Oh shit, yeah, that was acid. Acid just came out of the barrel. I can hear the ground fizzing. I don't know if you can hear that, but I'm gonna to need to get some baking soda after this. So that is a hazard to touch now. Oh. Just do it straight. Oh, more acid spewing out. Oh, let me take a whiff of that. It smells like eggs. So. That, that cell's just like spewing like stuff. Okay, let me just get um, the cap and press it in. Just so it doesn't like spew it, it just so it recombinates. Oh no, it popped out. The cell's like a little, you see it? Do you see that little Thomas the Tank Engine? Oh god. How can I stop this? Oh it broke off. This is probably really dangerous. Not a hundred percent sure, but probably really dangerous. I'm going to get some baking soda. I got some Polish baking soda. Just gonna put it over the battery, I mean over the affected areas. Yeah. I'm gonna have to make a solution of this. Uh, be right back. I've got my acid neutralizing solution. Pour it over the battery to neutralize it. Pour it over the affected areas. And then just rinse down with water. Yep, acid is a dangerous thing, so I should have been probably wearing protective gear. Well, I did not know it's going to be spewing acid. And while I'm here, let's test the voltage. As you can see that, what, zero volts, yep. And it's cold out. Oh my god, I'm having a seizure, what the hell? The voltage is 7.8. 7.08. So, that's pretty good. Now I'm just going to rinse it with water, just so to wash away all the rest of the contaminants. I didn't mix it in too well, but yeah, I'm just gonna mix it in. I've got the battery and I've got a bit more of this thing because I didn't mix it in properly. Just pour a bit more of it and uh, just like cover the treated area with water. 
just for additional protection to wash away any contaminants. This battery is a biohazard now. I should have worn safety glasses or something, but I did not. So that was stupid of me. And uh, yeah, let's just test it out if there's any more current. Oh god, it's still working. What? This is amazing. Probably not a lot of current, so I won't hurt myself. All the moisture is boiling from the terminals, so. Yeah, so there you have it. Um, yeah, that's the battery short circuit, a bit of acid spill, and yep, there you go. You know what? I'm just gonna spray it down with a bit more water later on, but yeah, so thanks for watching, I guess, if you watched this far.